Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to build extended stay rates. Cloud PM's extended stay rates come in two flavors, weekly and monthly. It's important to note that monthly rates are based on a four-week period, not on the calendar month, so make sure you're clear when quoting monthly rates to a guest. Let's get started by building a weekly rate. Click the green plus sign from either the search toolbar or if you have another rate code already open from the rate code ribbon bar. As usual, Cloud PM first asks what kind of rate you're creating. I'll choose weekly. Just like any other rate, we need to enter some basic information like a description, market segment, and whether this rate is commissionable or not. Okay, now we have some new fields that don't appear on ordinary rates, starting with Payment Due. This field is automatically populated based on your hotel's property settings and cannot be changed. This 7 indicates the guest will appear on the next Payment Due report every 7 days. A monthly rate would have a 28 in this field. The next new field is this dropdown. Here we can specify a rate code that Cloud PM will use for additional days that don't qualify for the weekly rate. This field works hand in hand with the minimum length of stay, where you will not only restrict how short a stay is acceptable for this rate, but also how many additional nights you'll post at the alternate rate. Here's an example. I'll set the minimum length of stay at 5 and the additional days rate to rack. If a guest stays for eight nights, that's seven plus one extra night, we'll post the weekly rate for the first seven and rack on the eighth. But if a guest stays for 12 nights, seven plus five extra nights, we'll post the weekly rate for every night since the five additional days meets the minimum length. The last special field is this little checkbox. Mark this if you want room and tax posted every night. Leave it unchecked if you prefer Cloud PM to post the entire week's rate on the first night of the week. Keep in mind that these fields all work the same way for monthly rates. With these fields completed, we can add our first rate season, and begin entering rates. If this looks familiar, you're correct. It's just like entering any other planned rate, except we're using a whole week's worth of room charge instead of one night. Again, monthly rates are similar, except the rate amount is for the entire four weeks. Now that all my rates are entered, I'll save, and this rate is ready for use. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.